Good morning, people of the grid. It is Friday, November the 24th. My day has started. Workout is done. Heading home to take the kids to school, have some breakfast, and get to work for Friday. It's going to be a fun weekend because we are going to Red Deer. So we're going to go uh, stay in a hotel, go on some water slides. It's going to be a fun weekend. There's some days where it just feels amazing to be alive, you guys. My face is orange because of this amazing sunrise that's going on right over there. As soon as I turn, I'll get it on the camera. It is... Awesome, right? How can you not have a good day when it starts like that? Beautiful. It's gonna be a good one. Get the kids off to school. We got a bunch of work to get done. And then Tammy and I are taking two vehicles to Red Deer because she's got to come back a little sooner. The kids are curling on Sunday. I have to stay a little longer. So it's okay. There's a supercharger there. Yeah. Parents' favorite part. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll free. We're at the dentist with Amelia. Oh, I think I put it wrong. Oh no, you got it right oh, the first time. Yeah. You're doing it wrong. And open nice and big, big deep breath and hold. <gasps> That's funny. Chin up high, big deep breath. So we're at the dentist. We've got Amelia going in for a second round of braces. <phone rings> Melissa's coming in for braces. I need three new jobs. Well, that was a painful morning. We are just on our way back from the dentist. I'm gonna drop Tammy and orthodontist, dentist. We're gonna drop Tammy and Amelia off at Sammy and Melissa's school because there's a science fair that Tammy wants to check out. Just the tail end. I just wanna get there before it's yeah, done. Yeah, we'll catch a few minutes of it. Late. I gotta run back home because I've got a couple of calls. I'll be working through beyond lunch, so yeah, I'll have another late lunch today. <laughs> Looks like Amelia's going in for round two of the braces. It's not it's a cheap. Toss up. And then I mean... Melissa's going in for round one of her braces, first go round, which is really pricey. Man. Yeah. It's only our blonde children. My parents never worked. Did your parents worry about our teeth? No, they just, well, they didn't care. I looked like Austin Powers growing up. Who the heck is that? I didn't have good teeth. It's a good thing to do but it's not a cheap thing to do. No. We're giving them the right foundation to start their lives. Yeah. If we can, right? And that's kind of our job. Yeah. One, two, and... Looks good! Yay! Wow, nice job. I got you. Whoa! You guys are going to want to get a coffee because Tammy, she's going to start talking now. So yesterday, I guess it was a couple days ago, um, it snowed and then it got warm and the roads got all mucky. And the loaner car I have, I have a loaner because Cora's in getting um, the seats repaired and stuff. So it was really dirty. And I do not like driving a dirty car. And that's thanks to my brother. That's a long story. Anyway, so my car was really dirty. I took it in and got it washed. And Mike came home, noticed the, the clean car. He's he says to me, you wash a loner, but you don't wash mine. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe you like driving a dirty car. So today for my husband, I took him in and I surprised him and I washed his car. So he doesn't know yet. And I just chamoed it, but I'm going to get Ethan to chamois the top because I can't reach easily and he can reach all the parts of the car. The cool thing about when I was in line, because there's tons of people washing their cars right now because it's really mucky and yucky. Um, but the cool thing was, I was right beside another Tesla. It was a Model S, and it was silver, kind of like the, uh, kind of that dark silver, that charcoal gray, just like the loner I have. So, that was kind of good, cool. We did the Tesla nod, 
and said hi and then we proceeded to wash each other or wash wash not we didn't wash each other's cars we washed our own cars but so i'm excited for mike to see his nice clean car see i do care and i do care that you drive a clean car and now it's clean i'm just waiting for ethan see now they're both clean All right, we are uh, taking off for Red Deer. I've got the girls. Tammy's taking Ethan to uh, violin lessons. We're going to meet up over there. Now, since we've got two Teslas, we thought, why don't we do a Tesla versus Tesla? We'll compare how the utilization is on our Model S 85D versus the Model 100D loaner that we got from Tesla. Um, the only difference between the two cars, other than the age, is I've got the Wisp Bar roof racks, but they're negligible as far as impact so yeah be interesting to see we're going to do the same average cruising speed we're going from the house here to the uh the hotel in red deer all right so i have reset uh, grid is the tracker that i'm using for this reset it to zero so we can actually get an accurate distance and utilization we'll keep the average speed to uh 115 115 kilometers per hour Well, we just made it onto the road. We got our food and we're in rush hour traffic. But at these slow speeds, we're going to get some pretty amazing range out of the Tesla. We'll get there. What's waiting for us on the other end is water slides and a nice swimming pool. I think they even have a hot tub there. Yes, they do. Yeah, so we want to get there as soon as possible. So I should make it with, it'll probably be around 15%-ish, um, which should be enough to leave the car unplugged overnight. Yeah, I might plug it in. They've got uh, 110 volt, 15 amp. I could plug into that. There's a supercharger in Red Deer too, but I wasn't planning on hitting that until Sunday on my way back. So we'll see. There's a lot of charging options on this trip. All right. Ethan and I are running a little bit later than everybody else because he had violin practice. He's learning Silent Night. It sounds awesome. Is that what you're learning? Yes. Do, 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 do. Yes. Um, I just reset my trip on the loaner Tesla. It's a 100D. It's not a P, unfortunately, but um, that'll help me with range. Um, so let me show you what I've got, and uh, we'll kind of do the same checkpoints as Mike and see how each car does. So here's our starting point. Let's see if we can beat Mike and the girls on utilization in a 100D2 Red Deer. All right, we're, uh, we're at about the halfway point, the point where Mike and I decided we'd do a quick uh, double check and see where we were uh, at as far as range. And I'm doing, if you look at grid one here, I'm doing about 187 um, watt hours per kilometer and so pretty good I don't know what he did though I'll have to find out we made it to our room I've got the numbers from the light runner Tammy is still on route so as soon as she gets here I'll get her data and we'll do a quick compare of the light runner versus the model s 100d loaner but right now me and my girls we're going down to the pool here we are so important safety tip when you're using a water slide this one has a button right there. You press the button, the water starts running. The girls were, were sitting up there and I pressed the button and they went too early and you could just hear this squeaking of their skin rubbing. So Sammy got some burns, Melissa got some, <laughs> some burns and I think Amelia got some burns. So we got three kids with water slide burns and we just got here. Yeah, that's how we roll. The hot tub is out, Ugh. so I'll be sitting in a chair. I'll hop in the pool later.
So Ethan and I made it to Red Deer, and here's my stats. So if you look at grid one, I've got 189.3 kilometers. I probably went a little further than Mike because I had to go back home and look for my credit card because I lost it. Yeah, so it's been a long night. Um, then um, I used 34.7 kilowatt hours. So it's not a perfect, perfect test, but then 183 watt hours per kilometer, that's pretty much been uh, pretty static, pretty stable, so. And just a note for everybody, never lose your credit card on Black Friday. Cause I was on hold for how long, Ethan? Probably like two hours. So never lose your credit card on Black Friday. So we just stopped at the mall to double check that this car was supercharger enabled because we are going up to uh, up to Red Deer and I wanted to make sure I could charge and it's Black Friday and look what the mall did for us. This is great. Well done Cross Iron. They, uh, they put up barricades so that no one would park here. Good job. Okay, it might take us like three hours to get out of the parking lot but off to Red Deer. All right, guys. Well, we're all back in the room. Uh, pool is now closed. We had a blast. The Tesla versus Tesla thing that we did turned out quite interesting. Take a look. So the Light Runner came in at 204 watt hours per kilometer. The Tesla Loner, which is a 100D, it came in at 183. We were doing pretty much the same speed. Tammy had, uh, looks like, 15 kilometers more than I did. Negligible. The only difference, I believe, is I'm running winter tires, so my tires in this temperature would be a little bit softer than hers, and because she's got all seasons, and I've got the Wispar roof racks. Quite a difference, you know, it's about uh, 20 watt hours per kilometer, so not a big deal because there's superchargers everywhere, but you know, something to uh, to consider. We're going to play some games, watch some shows fall asleep tomorrow we all get to sleep in and we'll hit the pool again so it's saturday tomorrow sleep in everybody hope you guys had a really good friday thanks for hanging out with us um tell a friend or two we're trying to grow this channel into something bigger we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow miker out <laughs>